Hey there, it's James Roy Staters. This video is specifically for motion magnetics. Hey there, Mr. Magnetics. Look what I've accidentally discovered or noticed this evening. It's probably been happening all along, I just never noticed. Uh, let me just get right to what I'm showing you here. Everybody else, you just have to watch. But uh, Mr. Magnetics has been dealing with his channel, which has got a lot of cool videos that shows the physics of all of this at youtube.com forward slash motion magnetics. All right, here, check this out. Watch this. Now I'm going to do this by hand. I'm going to turn this wheel around here. I'll use my foot, actually, so I can stay up. Use my foot. Get it going a little bit. But watch this. Yes! <laughs> Isn't that cool? Let me do it one last time here. Get the wheel going again. Now, for, for the rest of you who may not understand the dynamics of what's going on here, the law of physics says for every action is an equal and opposite reaction. So this side is supposed to be, the attraction on this side is supposed to be equal on this side. But there's no way I could create, to make it otherwise. But I'm telling you there is zero magnetic flux over here. And there is 100% magnetic flux over here. The front door here, as you look in other videos, it wraps around out here and comes out here. So it just wraps. Okay. And so the, the center of the flux is right above the center of the the force is right there on the edge. And also, I didn't think to mention, but somebody else in one of the other videos had uh, mentioned it to me. And I'm sorry, I just never thought to mention it. But you'll notice this is pulling away from the wheel. So here, if you go back and forth, see? It's quite substantial. So not only is this magnetic here, and there's zero flux over here. There's just no flux here. None, zero. And I've got a video on that. You all just have to watch it for those who haven't. It's just what, look for the paper clip and the stator experiment. So this is metal though, however. And so these magnets here are attracted to this. But the real field of attraction is only right to here. I can feel it's looking right here. You put it here, I can feel it's really weak right here. There's almost no attraction at all. There's almost zero. There's a little bit of pull here. Just, just a little teensy-weensy bit. Right about there is like zero, zero. So anyway, so watch this again. Let me show you this. This is so sweet because it's not supposed to come back. It should, for all of you here that don't understand this, maybe you're all new at this, it's supposed to cog. Watch this. I'm going to just let it go from a short distance here. See, it grabs it each direction because the law of attraction is supposed to say either every action is equal and opposite reaction. That's why it pulls it back and forth. However, when you pull it out here, and start it way back here and give it a little bit of speed here and then let it start going in it should it shouldn't go all the way through and it should i mean it shouldn't come back but look it came back look how far it came back it's like a boomerang one last time get it going again yes <laughs> so it goes to show you that the attraction on this side this really is one way magnetic stator it has more force or inertia or whatever you want to call it there's a there's actually a direction of force. If there was no direction of force, this wouldn't work this way. It would just it would just cog back and forth, back and forth. You would it wouldn't spit it back out the way it does. But you can see how it grabs it here. But why doesn't it grab it going the other way? See, that's what I'm talking about. Because this acts like a runway, like an airplane taking off. And airplanes, if you're an airplane, you start to pull up and away from the earth. This was the runway on the ground. So as this pulls away, you're the plane here, you're pulling up, up, and away into the sky. It may be a little hard from confusing, but that makes 100% perfect sense for those of you who can follow what I'm saying. So anyway, so one last time here, give it a little bit of speed again. It grabs it, and it spits it right back out. And then if you go around this way here, let me just show you here. Do this with my hand here, setting it up. Watch, like I've shown you before, I'm going to close out here. Watch this. I mean, just, just let me just give it a little tiny push here. And of course, naturally it's going to go through. But anyway, that's what I'm saying here. My stator is designed, the force is greater here and less here. And because of this metal here, it acts like a runway, it continues to attract it to accelerate it as it's pulling up, up, and away from the runway. And thereby it gets lift or take off. Okay, and it does, it takes off here. Watch, I can do it from here. I'm, you have to trust me, I'm just gonna take my hand off and do it right from right at the edge of the stator, watch. 
goes all the way through. But now if I did it the other way, it's not gonna it's not gonna do that. Watch. Let's do it the other way. See? It's not gonna work that way. See? It only works in this direction here. He just spits it right out, but it will not work in the other direction. See so watch. It won't work. Anyway, I wanted to show that to you. I thought that was really, really interesting. Anyway, one last time. Yes! Alright. This is James Wayne Staters at youtube.com forward slash free magnetic energy 2. I'm out of here. Yes, I'm tired because I've had a hard day. Here we go. From the other direction normally. Yeah!